I only have roughly a minute to speak, so I'll keep this really, really short. Over the last while, I've been learning more about social anxieties, what causes them, what people think of when they're socially anxious, and different ways that people are able to prevent social anxiety attacks, different ways that we can approach social anxiety to improve, you know, just to gain a better insight. And the more that I've researched social anxieties, the more that I've seen similar connections to people that have social anxieties and people that have a stutter. In all honesty, I think that stuttering has links to social anxiety. The reason why I think that is because we're always doubting ourselves in social situations when we're speaking. We always have these thoughts in the back of our head about, should I approach that person? What if I mess up my speech here? You know, the list goes on. And what I think is that the way that we can overcome our stutter is similar to the way that we can overcome any social anxieties. And from what I've explained in the past, it's all in the mind. If I can just talk a little bit about mind games, you know, our mind loves to play tricks on us. It loves to play games with us. It loves to convince us that we should avoid doing things because it's supposed to make us feel more comfortable. But we improve when we put ourselves in uncomfortable situations. Right now, I'm in Norway. You know, I'm very out of my comfort zone. However, you know, you have to be present in the moment. We, the more that we think up situations in our head about what could happen, what will happen, they probably will happen. And unfortunately, the things that we think of in our head when, you know, we try and anticipate these situations are usually negative, you know? The more that we think of our stutter as a hindrance in these situations, the more that it will be a hindrance in these situations. So, just like social anxieties, there's different thoughts that we have, there's different patterns that we have within our thinking. And usually we approach different situations in the same way. So every time you're in a coffee shop, you usually approach it the same way. What if the person notices that I have a stutter? What if they can tell that I am nervous? Why are there so many people in the queue? What if they all notice as well? You know, the same thing in a club even as well, it's like, I don't know if the other person can tell that I have a stutter. What if they don't like me or aren't attracted to me because I have a stutter? The list goes on again. But one thing that I can offer, which is similar to things that I've discussed before, is the idea that we need to be present in the moment. You know, the, the less we're in our heads, the easier things are. You know, the more that we just become one with the world, for lack of a better word, you know, the more enjoyable that we'll find these different situations. Also, another thing that I think we need to do more of is just to take our time and speak slowly. Uh, I always reiterate this because it shows control. The more in control that we are over our speech and even over our thinking when it comes to our speech, the easier it will be as well. But it's a trained skill because our brain is a muscle and the more that we try and work upon this muscle, the easier things will be. It may be easier said than done, but honestly, you'll feel very rewarded after doing all of that work. But lastly, I would just say, just if you have these thoughts of, I don't know if I should approach that person, or I don't know if I can say the words that I want to say, you, you just have to do it. You know, because the more that we hold off from doing it, the more it occupies our mind. So we want our minds to be less occupied. We want to be thinking freely, which can hopefully lead you to speaking freely as well. At least that's a common issue that I find with people that stutter and with people that have social anxieties as well. I wish I could make this video a bit longer. I'll probably do a part two. However, just while I'm, while I'm here in Norway, the thought came in my head and I just wanted to express some feelings and express some thoughts about it. So I really hope that this has been of good benefit to you guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter at Chaz B, Instagram at Chaz Bonner. Keep in touch, you know, I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear if you like the things that I do or feel I need to improve upon some things. You know, I'm always open for discussion.
So thank you very much, guys. Peace.